on guys ghost here coming back at you with another awesome video today i'm gonna be giving you my three favorite category leaders on dokkan battle now everyone's always asked me which ones are my favorites and i think i made a video like this some time ago i don't know when exactly i did make this video but i know it's out there and it's there on my channel but i'm only gonna give you three because there's so many and it's hard to really get through them all so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the first one here today so hopefully if you are watching this video and you are enjoying the content, please slap a like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. I'm dropping as much content as I can. I am on the grind. So the first category leader that I love and I use every single day that I can possibly think of is Super Saiyan Goku. Now, a lot of people still use Super Saiyan Goku. He's a very good unit. He's a very solid STR unit. He's a very good category leader. Obviously, not a lot of people use him for Planet Namek category because obviously the category for that is not that great. Obviously, Super Saiyan, everybody on the team or on Dokkan has a crap ton of Super Saiyans. So he is the horse you want him on. So obviously, a lot of people still use Goku for the simple fact that he has a great transformation, also has great defensive skills, and he's also a very effective unit. Still used to this very day. And people still love him. Obviously, if you can see here, his transformation does look awesome when he goes Super Saiyan when he fought Frieza for the first time. So this is also a nostalgic card, but also a very cool card to have. If you don't have him, I would recommend getting him because he's actually really, really good. So my second, <laughs> excuse me, uh, my second card that I use a lot, that's one of my favorite categories, and I use them all the time. I use them to this day. Well, he's not really, well, sure, we'll go with it, is... My my boy, physical, well not physical, pardon me, physical as well, I'll give him credit as well, Tech Vegito Blue, obviously I use physical more, but he is also very, very good, he's obviously Vegito, I love Vegito, uh, he's not really, well I consider his type of category, because it's a super type category, so definitely a category per se, or per se, but a very good unit. I still use them all the time. I use them here and there. And I usually use them on my uh, Potara teams here and there. I usually switch them out for physical. But obviously physical is way better. So I don't switch them out that much. But he is still very, very good. Also, where credit is credit to do, yes, physical Vegito is 100 times better. He is a horse. Much love to physical Vegito. He's way better than tech. Yes, I get it. Uh, the last one I want to throw in there. I can't. I, did, I couldn't even give Tech Vegito Blue that much credit because he's not a category leader. But I give him credit anyway because I love him. Anyway, so the final one that I use a lot and I do, oh, I do, is obviously Terrifying Conquerors. Now I can't say I've used him a lot because I didn't get him when he first came, but I did get him when Boot Tank's banner showed up and I got him. I was very very excited. He is he's a horse. He is a monster. Cooler Strength is a monster. His categories are insane obviously a lot of people use him for transformation boost um some do use him for his terrifying conquerors category as well which is very good as well it's not bad uh obviously he is just an insane unit his power is nutty and even when he transforms he is just a very terrifying character to be around he will put some numbers on you obviously if you rainbow him and make him even stronger or even just just give him as much power as you can give him behind him with some support he is a monster to be wrecking with I love using him. Uh, I've been using him a lot lately. Uh, I didn't have him before, but now I have him, and he's a very good unit. Obviously, he's still being used to this very day due to the fact that he's a very good category leader. Now, there are some categories that are out here on my team or outside of Dokkan that are extremely well um, that people use every day. So this is probably one of the ones up there with the 120s that are very good category leaders. So much respect to him. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video discussing some of my favorite characters that I use on Dokkan Battle. There's so many to talk about, but it's not enough time to really go through them all. But hopefully you enjoyed this video very quickly that I did for discussing these characters. Now, also, if you guys want to see more content like this where I describe my three favorite LRs that I use or any kind of other content or even some uh, Super Battle Road or anything like that you want to see, slap a like on this video. <laughs> I can't speak English today, apparently. Uh, slap a like on this video and leave a comment in the comment below. Any of you that are my friends, people that watch my content, let me in the comments below, and I will do so if you want to see that or any other kind of content from Dokkan, I will provide for you. So as always, stay awesome, keep playing Dokkan, I'll see you next time.